I am pleased to welcome in our host for today's session, the Electrical Wholesale Sales Director at Lutron, Mr. Matt Kurtz. Matt, take it away. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you to uh, Jeff, Carl, and, and the Crescent team for having us on here. We're looking forward to this and, and talking today a little bit about our, our Vive solution, which is a wireless, scalable, energy-saving solution that we sell through uh, you know, Crescent Electric, great for retrofit opportunities uh, out in the field. A couple of great features for the system are that it's wireless, it's scalable, uh, it can help you meet uh, energy codes. So as energy codes become more and more stringent, this is a great solution to help you easily uh, meet those energy codes. Um, wireless products are also great because they actually can install up to 70% faster than a wired solution. Uh, one of the things that will allow you to save a lot of time and money now with parts and pieces like this wireless Pico, which I'll talk about more in a little bit, is not only are they saving you time, but they're also saving you materials because you can add a, a things like a wireless uh, a Pico or a wireless sensor in the ceiling without having to run additional wire or, or put boxes in the ceiling. And we know now certainly a challenge to get parts and pieces out in the field. So not only can this help you save on your labor, but can help you save on some material costs as well. Um, in addition to that, you know, in general, you know, people like uh, touchless solutions today that are solutions that uh, no one in the space, whether it's a commercial office building or a retail space or a school uh, that, you know, avoids people having to touch controls and touch products. So Vive will help you with that as well through wireless sensors and time clock features as well. So we're going to walk through uh, some of the parts and pieces today. There are really three main kind of components of the system. One is called, you know, load controllers that actually uh, turn your lights on and off. So we'll talk a little bit about them. Another are um, you know, wireless sensors, which we'll talk about today, ox sensors and daylight sensors. Uh, the other are, are Pico remotes, which are wireless remotes. And then we'll also talk a little bit about uh, the brains of the system that can be added later, which is this wireless hub here. Um, so one, let's start out with some of your in-wall in controllers, right? So this is a, an in-wall dimmer. Uh, looks like a Lutron Maestro dimmer. There's a variety of styles for this. There's a bunch of dimmers, uh, incandescent, low voltage, magnetic low voltage. And there's some switching solutions as well. This gives you local access if you need to, but it has uh, RF technology built into the, um, the dimmer or the switch themselves installs, uh, just like a standard dimmer will. And we'll show you how that can be part of the system. So for load controllers, you have your in-wall controllers. You also then have your uh, PAL packs or your ceiling controllers. So this is a, a switching module right here. Uh, so there's a number of different versions there. Uh, probably one of our more popular ones is a uh, zero to 10 volt PAL pack that you can put up in the ceiling to control uh, zero to 10 volt fixtures uh, and have be part of the system and control with, again, your wireless Picos and sensors. Uh, we have some contact closures as well if you want to integrate into other uh, third-party systems in the building. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited now. Uh, just started shipping as a new wireless uh, phase adaptive PAL pack with Lutron's LED Plus technology built in there. So this just started shipping, a brand new product, probably one of our most requested products out there. This is a great solution for conference rooms or restaurants where you have either incandescent halogen or a low voltage lighting. You don't want a switch or dimmer on the wall. Uh, you want to put this up in the ceiling. So this new uh, phase adaptive power pack is shipping now. We'll do uh, magnetic low voltage, electronic low voltage, incandescent, uh, halogen. So great new product there starting to ship now. So check your uh, local Crescent location for that. So those are your power packs up in the ceiling. For load controllers, we also have uh, the ability to uh, embed our technology into many fixture manufacturers. So here you see I have a uh, you know um, an integral fixture control that we've actually embedded into a little sample here, and this will allow you to embed the Lutron Vive technology in quite a few different fixtures out in the field. Uh, we are partnering with uh, companies like Cree, who I know is doing a expert video a little bit later this week as well. So this will allow me to actually put both uh, an ox sensor. Uh, into that fixture, and then a daylight sensor in there as well. So uh, another great solution for uh, load controllers is to actually embed that technology into fixtures uh, so you don't have to wire stuff in, uh, in there in, in the field. The beauty of these load controllers is you can mix and match and have them all on one job, have a couple in the wall, have a couple in fixtures, and have some power packs up in the ceiling, 
and control them all as one system. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, you can start with a couple solutions and then build up from there. So the next I'll talk about are some wireless sensors. So this is a battery operated uh, wireless sensor. So anything that we have that we'll show that has a battery, it comes with a battery here uh, as a 10 year battery life. Uh, these wireless sensors will work as either aux sensors or vague sensors. And again, the beauty of the wireless sensors, you can put this up in the ceiling and not have to run any wire or conduit to it. So you can again, get in and out of the job quicker and not have to mess with any uh, ceiling tiles to get up in the ceiling. And again, save um, money on materials, you know, again, boxes, conduit, wire, et cetera, that you don't have to run up into the ceiling. So again, a time saver, both on labor and materials. So uh, this is a ceiling sensor. We also have a version that looks like this, which will come in either a wall, hall, or corner mounted. Look the same, three different SKUs. Again, battery operated on the back. Uh, you can program these to be one, five, 15, or 30 minute timeouts, your know, occupancy or vacancy. Uh, we do have some vacancy only versions uh, for California that will meet Title 24 um, codes. So you have this sensor here. And then in addition to meet energy codes and energy savings, you have a wireless daylight sensor here. So you could sense the natural light coming into the space, have a talk to these devices, and have them dim the lights or raise the lights automatically, depending on how much light is coming in uh, from outside. And again, battery operated standard batteries that are easily replaceable uh, and have a 10 year life on them. So you have your wireless sensors. And then the next step you have are, are your remotes. So this is a little wireless Pico remote. This is a, a four scene remote, make sure I have it up the right way. So I can either put this in my hand, uh, I could actually clip it to a little pedestal here, put it on that little pedestal. You can put that on your desktop, um, on a conference room table, you know, if you're at home, put it on your bedside table. So there's a lot of functionality on there. This is a four seam remote. Uh, we also have um, on off switching remotes. And then am I holding that the right way? Yep. Um, and then why, raise lower remotes that you see over here. So that will do raise lower and on and off. The beauty of these remotes is again, battery operated in these guys, 10 year life on these. So they'll uh, work for a long time. The real great feature is this same Pico I've actually taken and we put behind one of our face plates. So if I pull this off, pull this out, I have a, we have a clip on the back here that will allow me to take this Pico, slide it onto this little wall box adapter, hang that on the wall anywhere, put a Lutron Kit Clara faceplate over that. And now I could add a switch or a dimmer anywhere on the wall. Um, so you could actually literally hang that wherever you want. And then again, you could add three-way control, uh, additional control for spaces. And when I put that on the wall, it will look like a standard switch or dimmer on the wall but I won't have to run any wire or conduit. So, it, so again, time saving, energy saving, material saving. So those are three of your, your real main parts of the system. Let's just talk about programming real quick here. So I did some programming before, it didn't really take too long, but I'm gonna take this raised lower Pico and then I program that to work with this dimmer right here. So as I turn that on, you can look and you see that will turn on and off, right? So I've programmed that to work with that. So again, I can create this virtual three-way and not only can I turn my lights on and off, but I can dim them and raise them up and down from there as well. So you can see as that dims down a little bit and then I could actually turn that off from there as well. So it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. Programming, very easy. I just press and hold this for six seconds, press and hold this for six seconds and they're programmed together. Very easy, very simple to do in the field. Uh, you, know, you can do this direct programming. You don't necessarily need a phone. We'll talk about you know, advanced programming with the hub in a minute here, but the programming is very easy for these devices. Add a switch or dimmer anywhere. I took this four scene remote and added it to this guy right here. So you can see I can turn that up and down here. Uh, I've also created, or out, right out of the box, it creates some scenes at a slightly lower level. Again, real easy programming, great for a conference room application. I can have my meeting mode, my presentation mode and off mode, putting that on the tabletop here. Very easy to program. And then I took my wireless aux sensor, to look at the right button here. And I also programmed that to this as well. So I have programmed to this, 
on my Pico, but then I also have my aux sensor in the ceiling. Someone walks into the space, I have that light turn on, which this doesn't sense uh, them in the space for the, the correct amount of time, I could turn that off as well. So very easy, very flexible to do that again. Press and hold six seconds, press and hold six seconds, and that will turn that light on and off. So really, really simple to use, simple to program. Uh, same thing with, the, with this device as well there. So quick, easy setup, simple to use. Um, in addition to these, uh, the other device we have is this wireless hub. So I showed you very easy, very simple programming here. Press and hold, press and hold. You could scale this up. You could start with one room, add another room, and then add another room on top of that. If you want to get a little more uh, in depth and do some, some more in-depth programming, you could add this wireless hub to this space, okay? This is a wireless hub, just needs power uh, to this hub. This will cover a 10,000 square foot area, up to 700 devices into that space. And what this will allow you to do is download a Lutron 5 app on your phone and then start to program the system on there. The programming on there will be very easy. You just walk around the space with your wireless device and your Lutron app and you could program the system to do a tremendous amount of stuff. This is very helpful also to be, you know, some of the more stringent energy codes. This will allow you to do time clock scheduling. So you can schedule your lights to go on and off at certain times of the day when you want them to go on or when you want them to go off. You can do it either by time of day, you can do it sunrise or sunset, and you could also, you know, exclude some specific holidays. So you may have your lights go on, you know, at eight every morning and off at five, but you can pick days like Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's Day to say, I don't want to have those devices on. This will also allow you to do scene control. So very popular for restaurants. So we can have different scenes throughout the day. So I can have a, a lunch scene in a restaurant. I can have a dinner scene. I can have a happy hour scene. And I can fade from one scene to the next scene, whether I do that with a Pika wireless remote or I can do that through the time clock app. Um, very easy, very simple to use. Um, I don't know, Jeff, are there any questions as I'm walking through all of this? No questions just yet, Matt. Okay. The wireless hub will also allow you to do uh, demand response. So if you have uh, markets where you have to meet demand response and talk to the energy um, or to the, to the grid to be able to, to reduce your power during a high fluctuation, again, like in California for Title 24, this will allow you to tie into um, that to do a demand response event. It will allow you also to tie into other multiple systems in a space through BATnet or API integration. So it will allow you to control this with your building management system, or if you have a third-party app, will allow you to control the space through that as well. Other cool things that the hub will allow you to do is actually to see and record your energy savings. So you can see how much you're saving with this system. So you can show that and see you know, that the system could pay back for itself over time. It could also help you with space utilization and help you determine um, you know, how much your spaces are being used, if your conference rooms are being used, or if your offices are being used. It can allow you to do some reporting to say, my office or conference rooms have not been used that much. I may want to reallocate that to other spaces uh, in the building. So a lot of flexibility on that hub. So we've got in integration, API, seam clock control, um, energy saving. So, and it's also, again, it's a scalable solution. So you could start uh, very small um, with one dimmer in a room. You could add a couple other devices in the other room. Uh, and then you could add ultimately this hub down the road if you wanted to. Uh, then you could tie multiple hubs together and build a much larger system. So yeah, we recommend picking a room in a space, trying a couple devices, putting a, a switch in, a pal pack in the ceiling, maybe an aux sensor, demo it, understand the, the, the wireless, understand how that controls, and then come back and add devices over time because the programming is simple and easy. Um, for the simple stuff, you don't need us to do that. You could just do that out in the field. Uh, we certainly can come and help you with uh, larger integrated systems that take a little bit uh, longer to, to, to set up. Hey, Matt, we, we do have one quick question, if I could just uh, interject before yep. you move on. Um, can you use the Vive wireless occupancy sensors, daylight harvesting sensors, and the Pico remotes without using the Vive Hub? 
Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a you know fixture like this, let's just say this was a Cree fixture, or or you have a device like this, you can use the wireless Pico, right? So this wireless Pico is programmed to this device. There's no hub. This hub isn't even plugged in. So I'm not using this right now. So I can control my wireless Pico. Um, you know, I uh, control my fixture or my light here with my wireless Pico. I have my daylight sensor also tied to that, which I'm demoing here. So that's turning that on and off again. That was all just button press programming. I don't have my daylight sensor uh, program now, but I could use that as well. So you do not need to tie it all in with a hub. You could use this as a very small standalone solution. So if all you had was a fixture, a switch on the wall, an ox sensor, a Pico, and a, and, a, and a daylight sensor, that could be its own small standalone solution there without any other devices or anything else added to this. Perfect. I actually got another question that just came through. Uh, will the time clock adjust automatically for daylight savings or seasonality for winter settings, you know, such as less daylight? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So built into the, the this uh, hub is a time clock, but in that it has an astronomic time clock. So again, you could set functionality to either time of day or sunrise or sunset. So you may have your lights to say, I want them to go on in my office every morning at eight o'clock, but I want them to, to go off as the sun sets, right? So obviously this time of year, the sun is gonna be out longer than it is gonna be in the winter. So that could automatically adjust. Uh, when you set up and program the system, it knows where you are. So through an astronomic time clock, you can set functionality based on sunrise and sunset. And you could set up multiple scenes, you know, for that as well. There's also quite a bit of intelligence in here. So you can have your ox sensors that are tied to the system do one thing during business hours, but something different at night, right? So during business hours, you may have the hall go on, you know, um, you know, once someone sees it, but, you know, during uh, nighttime hours, if the cleaning people are in the space, you may have lights turn on or off sooner or disable some function of the system because you don't necessarily need that when people are not uh, working in this space. Okay, those are the questions we've had so far. So okay, uh, again, great. just a re reminder to those of you in attendance, use the chat, use the Q&A, and we'll continue to send Matt your comments or questions as we go through. But uh, back to you, Matt. Yeah, so another couple things real quick. So this uses uh, Lutron's Clear Connect wireless system. So it's different than uh, you know a, uh, other systems out there. It's 434 megahertz FM. So it is a very reliable frequency at a low frequency with not a lot of interference or traffic. So most offices today between Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell phones, all kinds of stuff, microwave ovens, there's a lot of traffic in the Wi-Fi world. So this is a 434 megahertz, very quiet band, no traffic. So until I actually press a button, there's no signals coming from the system now. But if I go back to one of my devices and I press a button, it's gonna send a quick six second signal to this device and then it's quiet. And then I send the signal again uh, when that is off. So very quiet system, very reliable. We've been selling you know, wireless controls for well over 25 years. So it's a, it's a robust wireless system that works really well, does not interfere with anything else in the space, we've also used this in many hospitals, VAs, um, you know, government and municipal buildings as well. Um, so the other thing we'd just like to say, hey, if you're interested in this, we'd love to take a look at some plans you have, uh, a space you have, <clears throat> or you know, have a, a Crescent and Lutron representative come out to your space, do a little walkthrough, we can do a demo for you um, and, and try a couple devices out in your space and help you design uh, a bill of materials. Very easy, very flexible, very scalable uh, solution. Um, I think that's what we got, Jeff. I mean, any other questions, you know, let me know. I think we walked through pretty much everything here, a little sample. Um, yeah, great job. I don't know, we get any other comments or questions. We, we do, we have a couple more coming through. And before I get to those, again, just one final reminder to the participants that if you have a live question, feel free to use the Q&A or chat feature. Or if you're listening on our archive, you can still send us the, the, the question um, by, uh, by, by utilizing the, uh, the Zoom browser. And we'll, uh, we'll be able to, if you're watching on the, on the archive, be able to uh, make sure we route the questions you might have to Matt and the team at Lutron. 
Uh, two more for you here, Matt. Uh, what is the square footage coverage of a Vive Hub and how many devices can you have on each one? Good question, thanks, Jeff. So this wireless hub here will cover up to 10,000 square feet in a building. So if you go 100 by 100, you're, now you're gonna cover about 10,000 square feet uh, with this hub there. You can put up to 700 devices. So any 700 of any of these, you know, whether it's a daylight sensor, ox sensor, Pico, infix or control, you can put up to 10,000 of those on one hub. You can have that hub as a standalone hub, or you could add multiple hubs up to 64 hubs. Uh, there's an ethernet connection on the back, so you can run ethernet to the back and actually put up to 64 of those together. Um, to create a very, very large space. And the beauty again, it's scalable from you know, one device up to you know, 64 hubs and again, scalable over time. So great for retrofit you know, of schools where you know, especially uh, coming in the summer when, when kids are not in the classes, you can come in and out pretty quickly and do a classroom at a time and then scale that up over time. Excellent. Uh, looks like we got one final question. Why is Lutron's Clear Connect communication different from Zigbee or Z-Wave? Yeah, so as I said, you know, it's, it's 434 megahertz. It's our Clear Connect technology. It's at a much lower, quieter frequency and a, a quieter band, so you're not going to have a lot of traffic from Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or cell phones in there. So there's no, you know, it's an FCC regulated frequency. So right now it's very, very quiet until I actually hit a button send a signal, then it will send a signal, make sure this device hears it, and then it's quiet, and then I can turn it off again. So it's a very robust uh, system. These devices will work 30 feet from any of these uh, in any direction. Uh, and again, this will cover that 10,000 square foot space. So Matt, that'll do it for the, the questions. I went and glanced one last time, and those are the questions that we've had for today. So I guess I'll turn it over to you for any final thoughts and then close us out. Yeah, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks to the audience. You know, this is a easy to use, easy to install, easy to program, stocked at your Crescent location so you can come in and get any device, install this like a, a standard switch or dimmer, uh, integrate with many different fixture manufacturers such as Cree, you'll see a little later this week, have our wireless PAL packs. You know, remember our brand new uh, phase adaptive PAL pack uh, for up in the ceiling. Very easy to program the system again. Six seconds, press and hold, six seconds, press and hold. Uh, or if you have that hub, you can add that wireless um, control with your, with your app and your time clock and all the extra features that that will bring you. But simple, easy to use, you know, great opportunity for touchless controls. Uh, the other, you know, thing is, as people are not in the office today and are spread out in the office, but, you know, ultimately they will come out. The other nice thing about this system is the flexibility of the space. So, you may set up a system for social distancing today. So you can do that through a lot of reprogramming of this and not necessarily have to rewire the space. And as more people come back into the space or you reconfigure a space, you can change this and actually reprogram it. So flexibility is, is a key for people in offices now and schools now. And certainly as we get back to some semblance of normalcy, people will want to do some reprogramming. So flexibility is another key feature of this system. So. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Matt, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. As we mentioned earlier, that we'll have an archive version available that we will push out to all of you, and it'll also be available on social media. But uh, thank you for joining, and again, you can uh, access or uh, source your these Lutron solutions at your, your local Crescent branch or uh, on sesco.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Thanks, rest Jeff. of your Thanks, day. Team.